Engineering Arts has unveiled the world's first hyper-realistic robotic surgeon, indistinguishable from a human. Artificial intelligence has advanced to predict events in people's lives, including death. Now anyone can purchase a robotic replica of themselves, just like the popular YouTuber Tom Scott did. Memic Innovative Surgery announced that two U.S. hospitals have successfully conducted surgeries using their surgical robots. These and other high-tech news are featured in a single video. Meet Dr. Alfred, an unusual surgeon who made his debut in Dubai. At first glance, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Green scrubs, a stethoscope around his neck. This ageless man also enjoys joking about the Swiss, and he can recommend the best shawarma in town. But Alfred is not your typical doctor. He is a hyper-realistic robot of the new generation presented by the company Engineering Arts. The robot can engage in free conversation thanks to a new system powered by artificial intelligence and voice recognition. Developed by the English startup Engineered Arts, this humanoid robot is one of the most astonishing innovations showcased at the Gitex Robotics and Technology Exhibition, held annually for 40 years in Dubai. Dr. Alfred drew crowds while standing at the Edisalat booth, the active operator in the United Arab Emirates. The robot can answer any question thrown at him, including inquiries about his personal life. Moreover, he can understand virtually all languages, and importantly, accents. Engineers from the company promise that in the long run, robots like Alfred could replace humans in sectors such as tourism, making them ideal for roles like hotel administrators. The engineers jokingly remark that so far, Dr. Alfred has not performed a single surgery. Share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this extraordinary robot? The British company Engineering Arts knows how to astonish. In addition to Dr. Alfred, the engineers have a whole bunch of developments that make it possible to say, robots are already among us. One such creation is a robotic replica of the popular YouTuber Tom Scott. Humanoid robots have quickly transitioned from the realm of science fiction thrillers to everyday reality. Companies are selling hyper-realistic robots, and people can acquire them for various purposes. Popular YouTuber Tom Scott recently made such a purchase when he asked the robot manufacturer, Engineered Arts, to create a humanoid robot just like him, and they did just that. After Tom showed the robot, internet users were both amazed and somewhat alarmed by how accurately it mimics its creator. Would you consider getting a robotic version of yourself? Artificial intelligence has learned to predict events in people's lives, including death. An artificial intelligence system designed for modeling written speech can be used to forecast events in people's lives. Scientists from several U.S. universities found that the AI model, Life2Vec, trained on a diverse set of data regarding people's health, professions, and income, is capable of predicting various life events including the potential time of death. This opens up new potential in the fields of social sciences and healthcare, though it raises some ethical questions. Researchers analyzed health and labor market attachment data for 6 million Danes from 2008 to 2020, using the model named Life2Vec. Life 2 Vec. The health dataset includes records of medical facility visits, diagnoses, patient types, and urgency levels. It also incorporates information on income, salary, scholarships, industries, and social benefits. In the future, Life 2 Vec could be employed to assess the risk of contracting specific diseases or other preventable events. Memic Innovative Surgery announced that two hospitals in the United States have successfully performed surgeries using the surgical robots developed by Hominus, the company's robotic platform. The system is employed for procedures such as benign hysterectomy, salpingectomy, oophorectomy, and ovarian cyst removal. The surgical robot is equipped with humanoid-shaped miniature arms featuring shoulder, elbow, and wrist joints, providing dexterity and precision for intricate manipulations. It can introduce multiple instruments into the body through a single portal and offers multiplanar flexibility and 300 360-degree articulation. Tethys Robotics has unveiled the underwater drone, Tethys-1, capable of autonomously searching for objects in challenging underwater conditions. Weighing 30 kilograms, the drone can operate independently or be remotely controlled by an operator through a cable extending up to 10 kilometers. Information about the target object is input into the drone before it is submerged into the water. Tethys-1 utilizes a camera, acoustic sensors, and artificial intelligence-based algorithms to see through murky water, similar to how submarines use sonar signals. Once the target is detected, the operator receives a notification to take manual control of the drone. Guided by real-time video from the camera equipped with a spotlight, the operator can explore the object. If the item weighs no more than 40 kilograms, the drone's robotic grip can be used to grasp and lift it to the surface. If the object is heavier, its location can be marked for quick retrieval by divers. 
In South Korea, children are engaging with and playing alongside UB Tech Alpha mini robots in gardens. These robots possess the ability to recognize faces, objects, and voices. They can dance, lead exercise routines, and stand up after falling. With 14 servo motors, the robots can express emotions, convert text into speech, and interact with people through voice, facial expressions, gestures, and more. More importantly, these robots from early childhood show their capabilities and friendliness to children. This has become an integral part of the culture in Asia, where smart machines are seen as a decidedly positive force, protecting humanity from adversity and always ready to lend a helping hand. Alpha Mini has a home companion, the Alpha 1E domestic robot. This is a voice assistant with sensor technology that can serve as an educational and entertaining companion. It is designed not only for children, but also for adults. The robot can act as a companion and respond to voice commands. All robots in the Alpha series can be programmed using Scratch, but UB Tech also offers specialized kits for robotics education in schools, although we won't delve into those details here. Amazon has announced new projects in the field of robotics and introduced its autonomous robot, Proteus. While it may resemble Amazon's typical bot, the Amazon Kiva, designed for transporting shelves, the new robot is intelligent and safe enough to operate in a standard, unprepared robot environment alongside humans. The company stated that Proteus incorporates advanced sensory and intelligent technologies developed by Amazon. The robot's autonomy is likely achieved through a combination of stereo vision sensors and multiple LiDARs positioned in the front and on the sides, ensuring a efficient localization within indoor spaces. Additionally, the company unveiled the Cardinal, a robotic cell that uses cutting-edge artificial intelligence and computer vision to skillfully and quickly select a single package from a pile of packages, lift it, read the label, and accurately place it in a go-kart for dispatch to the next stage of its journey. Amazon's latest innovation is a new system for transferring container-laden racks with a small robot working in collaboration with human workers. This system is designed to eliminate the need for warehouse workers to climb up and down stairs when dealing with racks. Engineers from the Shanghai Research Institute for Intelligent Autonomous Systems have developed a drone capable of operating in two environments. It can both fly and swim underwater. Named TJ Flying Fish, the drone resembles a conventional quadcopter with four arms, each equipped with a motor propeller module. However, each power unit incorporates a special two-speed gearbox, and each arm can independently rotate relative to the rest of the drone. When the drone lands on water, it releases the propellers downward, allowing them to pull it underwater. Upon complete submersion, the drone adjusts the angle and thrust of each propulsion unit to move vertically or horizontally. The drone is fully autonomous throughout its mission, and can hover for six minutes or swim for 40 minutes on a single battery charge. In the near future, such machines may be employed for aerial photography, remote sensing, and participation in search and rescue operations. Write in the comments if you like the world's first hyper-realistic robot surgeon, and if you could distinguish it in real life. And of course, don't forget to like this video if you found some useful and interesting content. Subscribe to